Hi there everybody, today is day five, unbelievable. Uh, today's weight was 85.2, yeah, 85.2, which was the same as yesterday, so no change, yay. Um, now I'm putting on my makeup. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to talk to you about, but because I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I thought, well, I have to put my makeup on anyway. So, um, standing here and talking and putting makeup on, it's a very good use of time. I'm, you know, multitasking, which is what I try to do all the time. Um, so, yeah. So, hopefully, we'll be able to do that without you having to listen to Juliet crying because she was crying a couple of minutes ago. Um, but now she's got some of my makeup down there and she seems to be quite happy for, for now at least. Okay. So, anyway. Um, so I'm in a bit of a hurry, like I said, I've um, got to race out of the house, I'm already running late, but um, we'll see. But this is what happens though, you know, I want to get out and do stuff and um, I can't because, I don't know, things get held up. But today I have no choice, I have to go. So yes darling, you're putting makeup on. Um, she's not really, she's just playing with the brush. Um, so yeah, I have to go out, so um, basically the house is a mess, um, I can't touch anything because I just have to go, I even did a load of washing, and it's just going to have to sit in the, in the washing machine, okay, but I tell you something mate, I had the most wonderful conversation um, online with a very dear friend of mine, um, who has um, shared her own weight loss journey with me and um, you know she told me all the steps that she went through and is currently going through and she said that she would like to join me in my journey as well now which is really great she's not the first person to do it but you know I mean like there's so many of you so that's really really nice um, but yes, yeah, so what this particular friend did, she told me about all the exercise that she's done and yes, darling, and um, shared some of the tips that she came up with. Well, oh, I'll give you your lipstick, okay? Here you go. Thank you. So anyway, um, funnily enough, the exercises that she um, said that she was doing or has done in the past. Um, are the same sorts of exercises that I wanted to do and you know that I have done in the past as well so um, I'm going to share those with you not this time because I'm in a hurry but uh, probably tomorrow um, I might set myself a bit of a, a challenge a, a physical challenge um, but um, one of the other suggestions she said which made a lot of sense and I guess I've heard variations of it before but it's something I really want to try she said um, one tip is when you're on a diet to have one day a week when you're not on a diet where you're just eating completely normally and that way um, your body is less likely to plateau out um, because you know if it's on weight loss weight loss weight loss and then if that weight loss continues because you're dieting quite strictly then your body kind of says oh well, we better stop burning um, burning fats and stuff like that um, because you were kind of into starvation mode and that's when you plateau so yeah that makes sense to me so the idea is to eat normally and then it kind of tricks your body into thinking oh no 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 we've got plenty of food that's fine we can just burn as you know as much as we want, um, and so your body keeps up that high metabolism, you know, burning and stuff. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense, and it also means that you, I guess, you can call it a cheat day. I don't know, um, whatever gets you through. Uh, yeah, so I'm really keen on trying that. So uh, I mean, today, what have I eaten so far today? I had cereal. I had a lot of cereal. Um, way more than I should have had um, but the good thing about it was it was French muesli and French muesli always has chocolate in it or usually has chocolate in it especially when my husband's concerned um, and I wasn't interested in eating the chocolate at all it's dark chocolate I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate anyway 
Um, but funnily enough, Juliet was sitting there picking out all the bits of chocolate. So she ate the chocolate and then I had the cereal. And then she kept going, meh, for more chocolate. So, okay, I'm reinforcing negative um, dieting habits with her too. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, so anyway, um, that's what I've had so far today, plus water. Ooh, but there is one other thing that I forgot to share with you. One thing that I'm having, I'm oh, starting or restarting or trying to maintain is a routine first thing in the morning after I've waked myself what I do is I um, have a cup of well it's it's a, a tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar and hot water and scull it back and then have another glass of just plain water because obviously that stuff is vile um, but apparently it's really good for um, maintaining a more acidic um, uh, pH to your body and uh, it helps with digestion, it helps with fat burning um, and also it helps with deterring mosquitoes which is an issue at the moment because um, myself and Juliet have lots of mosquito bites, it's really hot here, can't sleep with the window shut so you have to have them open so your mosquitoes flying around. So yeah, so um, yeah, so apple cider vinegar in the morning. Um, I I just heard a lot. I don't know how it's helping me, or I haven't noticed anything. Um, I did have a. I used to do it when I was pregnant with Juliet. I think it was or Sophie perhaps. Um, uh, but you know, once I wasn't pregnant anymore, I felt that. Um, but yeah, it's something that I thought. Well, I'll I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work that into a daily routine and so far we're doing well so we'll see if I notice any changes in the future regarding that so what else what else so um yeah so it was really lovely talking to my friend today um and I will talk more about the exercises that um she suggested and that and um I will start formulating some sort of a, a routine that I will be able to um, maintain regularly because, you know, like I said, routine's an issue for me and uh, any exercise regime has to be, um, has to have a good routine. See, oh, my spots are really bad today. Um, you can see them regardless of what I do. It's really horrible. Anyway, some concealer on those other spots on my arms. Um, my hair's a mess, unfortunately, um, because my lovely husband did my hair last night, he, he likes to do hairdos, he likes my hair, so, um, and I'm about to go see him now, so, the question is, do I undo the hairdo and, you know, tidy it up, because he's going to go, oh, you took it out. And then he would get all offended and upset that I didn't like it or something. Or should I just try and reclaim it a little bit? It's a bit difficult because I have the worst hair in the world. Although when he was doing my hair last night, he said, I have to tell you, my darling, you have the most beautiful hair in the whole galaxy. Those were his exact words, which was pretty funny. So anyway, um, what do I get to? I'm up to mascara. So, what do you think of my beauty routine? Um, like I said, um, on my first video, I'm not really a makeup person. Um, I learned all my makeup skills back in the the 70s and 80s. Um, I can remember when I was, uh, what was it? Eight years old, I think it was. I got a I got a, a Cabbage Patch Kid makeup kit. You know, nowadays it would be a frozen makeup kit or a My Little Pony one or whatever. But anyway, I got a makeup kit and I used to put blue eyeshadow all right up here. Because back in the day, that was cool. Who else remembers blue eyeshadow? Yeah, so anyway, those tragedies are over. Although I think some of them are coming back. Anyway, um... I don't have anything on my lips. Mainly because somebody ate it all. Hey, stop playing with the rubbish. So anyway, 
I'll just put a bit of color on, match my top, and then I'll have to do. Okay, I think I probably look exactly the same as what I did um, about 10 minutes ago. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to leave it now because I really have to run. Uh, thank you for um, um, dropping in to say hi. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done. Please share so that other people can see what a loser I am. No, just kidding. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, hello to everybody. Um, thanks for all those people that are leaving comments. Um, most of them are personal comments at the moment, you know, coming through to my email or my messenger. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave them on the on the channel as well underneath this video. So thanks again and sending love out to everybody. Okay, bye.